Hey there, friends on YouTube. It's the JTL back again, painfully honest tech. And what do I have for you today? A, a bouncing box. What's in the bouncing box? The LG V30, a phone that I didn't think I was going to check out. And then I decided I was going to check it out. So let's get it unboxed. And then let's talk about my first couple of days of use. Now, this is a phone that I have not been uh, too kind to up to this point. Um, this phone lacks some of the features that made the V-Series what the V-Series is. And that includes removable battery, etc., etc. Still, I wanted to grab it, give it a try, and uh, see how it works. So let's go ahead. We got the box right here. Let's go ahead and take it out. Slowly lift. Oh, not quite as nice as Apple, but nice. What do we got here? Some sort of cloth. <laughs> I don't think it's supposed to be sitting in there like that. Uh, <laughs> maybe it's supposed to be like that. I don't know. What you t uh, LG, what are you doing to me here? Okay, so this is a cleaning cloth, though, with a little LG branding. Kind of nice. Here's the phone itself. Pulls out like most phones do these days. LG's second year promise. Peace of mind comes with every LG V30. We are so confident the V30's quality that in addition to the manufacturer's first year limited warranty, we are now offering a free second year coverage upon registration. Please enjoy a service experience. Uh, please enjoy a service experience that gets you a replacement phone quickly. Well, thank you, LG. That's nice. Must register within 90 days. What else do we got in here? This looks like paperwork. So we got paperwork. There's your SIM tray tool. Meet your LG V30. Important stuff I'll never read. Product safety stuff. That's it. Now, packaging for these in the past has sort of folded out and we kind of been more of an experience, but here we just got, we just got what we got. This is, looks like it's our uh, USB 3 data cable. Uh, here's another one. We get two USB cables? That's weird. That is weird. So let's go ahead and take this one out and see what we can know. Oh, shit. We had to resort to the teeth. Okay, so this is USB to USB-C. Yeah. Right there, USB to USB-C. Let's see what this one is. Let's see if I can get this one without using my teeth. There we go. This is all USB to USB C. Uh, so we got two. Uh, so, okay, there you go. That's that. Uh, okay, and these are nasty looking, so let's get them out of here. Out of here. Then the last thing in the box is the travel adapter I guess that means charging brick there we go good god almighty there we go this thing is a beast it's huge and that's why you need the USB to USB C it's got a USB C pluggy plug thing this must be this one must just be for plugging it into your computer which nobody ever does anymore do they does anybody out there ever plug in their computer? Uh, that's it in the box. Once again, I'm super freaking disappointed that LG leaves us out of the, the headphones here in the United States. I like headphones. I want headphones. Here's the phone itself. Ooh, it's slim. I got the silver one because that was the only one they had listed on the Verizon website. 
I hate Verizon branding on phones. I hate any branding on a phone. Maybe I should get a D brand. That's where it comes from, you know. D brand skin. Maybe I should get one. No, oh no, it doesn't give you the sexiness that you you need. Oh, so disappointing. It's just a plastic sleeve. Oh man, I need my sexiness. The phone, it is sexy though. I mean, it kind of looks old school iPhone from here on the sides with the stainless steel railing. Uh, it's got volume up and down over here. It's got nothing over here and no power button. I guess, oh, they moved it back there again. So now this is this looks like it's a power button again, whereas before I think on the V20, it was just a... Uh, it was just a fingerprint reader, if I'm remembering correctly. If I'm not remembering correctly, I'm sure somebody will correct me in the comments. Look, I'm wiping the phone. Hashtag phone wipe. Anyway, um, yeah, this is nice. Uh, so the things that I was annoyed about when the V30 was announced. The V series was supposed to be about, like, you know, all kinds of super professional grade everything removable battery and uh all that kind of stuff so you could this could be your workhorse super phone and i know that removable batteries are a thing of the past almost in almost every other phone in every other place and every other time i get it this gives us taking away the removable battery gives us uh it gives us waterproofing it gives us wireless charging it gives us all kinds of stuff that we couldn't have when the phone had a removable back so i get it we got dual cameras we got flash we got a headphone jack but no headphones lg why can't they, they, this has got the quad deck this is like the audio audio file this is the audio file friggin phone Screen looks nice. I can see the bezels. I could see them. They're not very big. All right, let's see if we got a charge. Oh, it buzzed. LG V30, and let's just put it down here and let, us do its, let it do its thing. There it goes. Hello, Verizon. <sighs> So now I just sit here and I wait while it goes through this. Here we go. Oh. Installation. Please wait while we prepare your phone. Now, I've got, I've still got my Note 8. I just released a video about it. Still got my Note 8. Still love the Note 8. Still using this as my day-to-day -day phone because I love the S Pen. S Pen doesn't work on there. Uh, and, and a bunch of other things about this phone. This phone is smaller than the S, than the Note 8. Um, all right, use Wi-Fi. Next. All right, now I'm going to sign into my Wi-Fi. Setup is new. Get a fresh start. That's what I like to do. So I just want to get to the, oh, came 45% battery. I want to get to the home screen and then we can be done Let's look at the speaker. We got a speaker grill on the bottom here. This feels a little rough. Feels a little rough on the speaker grill. So who out there has the V30? Who out there loves the V30? I, I've heard good things about this phone. I just think that, it, you know, now it's just like, in many ways, it's just a bigger G6. You know what I mean? And that's kind of frustrating. Okay, so I've been using it for a few days, a couple of days, about 50 something hours something like that there's let's just kind of walk through some of the things that i like don't like the, i think this is funny okay so the the v30 always gave you gave you the option or the v series always gave you the option to put your you know you know your name or initials or whatever up in the secondary display you can still do that here uh but they give you more letters <laughs> but my and they use your name from google and my name on google is painfully honest tech because that's what i named any, anyway, I think you understand. So, but the only there's only enough space for painfully. So I just have been walking around for two days with a phone that says painfully on it, <laughs> which is to me kind of funny. Uh, 
I mourn the loss of the secondary display. However, I do like you still got the same functionality. You can still scroll through all these different functions. You know, you've got your play pause. You've got, you can customize it to a certain amount. What do you want on here? That kind of thing. So it's as if the, the secondary display still existed. It's got the same functionality, but there's just no second display. Um, I do like still the double tap to wake. I had forgotten how much I really liked that. Uh, the fingerprint scanner is nice and fast. Let's wait. Maybe you missed that. It's good and fast. This also is a power button. Now there's no power button over here, uh, which has caused me consternation because I still been using my note eight, uh, which has the power button over here. And, um, so I'm t whenever you go between two devices back and forth, it's your 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 hands don't know what to do. Anyway, um, the the P L the P L E D screen on this guy is great. The bezels are not infinity style. There's still a thin bezel around here. There's something that this thing reminds me of that um, is kind of surprised me as I started to use it. This phone is very reminiscent of something, especially with the stainless steel around the side here. The glass back is very nice. Uh, it's kind of different than the glass back of the Note 8 or the iPhone 8 Plus or whatever iPhone you choose to talk about. Uh, it's kind of got an opalescent hue to it. So it, it actually looks as though the stainless steel kind of continues, but you know that it doesn't continue because there's some fit and finish things going on here that, that, are, kind of, that are kind of a drag. The, the, the SIM tray here, it's, it's almost sharp to the touch. Same thing here with the speakers. The speaker cutouts are almost sharp, you know, whereas, whereas on something like the Note 7, every, every little nook and cranny, every corner is like butter on this thing. Fit and finish, not quite as on point in this guy, but that's okay. It's still got a lot going for it. One thing that it, of course, like, I always forget. When I go to other devices, I forget how good the DAC in this thing really is. I forget how good headphones sound with this thing. And it's almost getting to the point where I'm wondering if I can use other kinds of phones that don't have this kind of sound quality um, when there's a phone like the V20 uh, that exists. Uh, I'm going to do some comparisons. I just got a DAC in from a company by a company called IFI. And so it's a, it's a, I'm going to test out their dedicated DAC for headphones with the DAC in this, just to see like where this thing punches pound for pound. I also have a, a, an old um, Fio DAC as well that I'm gonna check out. But the sound on this thing, regardless of how it compares to those things, is fantastic. And it's like, it, it, just, it just blows me away how fantastic it is. I don't care for LG's skin on this thing at all. So I'm using Nova Launcher right now and I've got a one screen deal going on here. I've got the apps that I need to get to quickly right here on the, on the front. And then I'm just going in. So it's like sort of like an iPhone, <laughs> sort of like an iPhone, but not. Um, you also have this little pop out here, which is kind of like the edge screen and kind of like the secondary display on the old V20 and V10. You can scroll through things and then you can pop this thing back in. So it gives you all the same functions as the old V series secondary screen. I have found it not to be as intrusive as the edge display, which is good. Um, but I also haven't, haven't used it very much. I'd have to get, it's the kind of thing you have to get used to. You got to work your way into using it. One thing I don't like about LG and their skins. I like to use a dark skin on all things, as you can see here however no matter what theme you're using you can't get that going with the lg skin i will say that this is kind of closer to android than it's been before but i just don't like their icons i don't it's too mushy too pastel-y too washed out 
I prefer boldness. And that's sort of the thing that I like and don't like about this phone. Now, this phone reminds me of something. It reminds me of something, and I don't know if you can guess what it is. It's got the stainless steel all the way around the edges. It's got these antenna band cutouts. It kind of reminds me of an old school iPhone, and maybe not even an old school iPhone as much as a cross between an old school iPhone and an old school iPod. I look at the okay just let me see if I can get this for you look at kind of how similar I mean this thing's tiny compared to but it's just a very similar design of course this it's not charged or anything but you know bezels out the wazoo and all the things that we hate in 2017 but this is about as iPhone a phone as I've as I've found in terms of design that's not an iPhone uh, Samsung got sued for trying to make their phones look more like iPhones. This thing looks to me and feels to me like an old school iPhone that had the stainless steel side rails and stuff. Um, of course, it's got Android, so it doesn't work like an iPhone. But it, do it, it does harken back to iPhone designs of old. And really, I guess to take that one step further... I, one thing that I'm really upset about when it comes to Apple is the fact that they used to be the company to provide digital audio to the majority of people, and they, they were dedicated to it, and they believed in it, and they wanted to do it, uh, and it was sort of a passion of Steve Jobs. They have gone so far away from that. They killed the iPod Classic, you know, they killed the... So they're no longer, to me, a, a phone that cares about audio. But with the quad DAC in this guy, man, th this thing sounds so good. So over the past couple of days as I've been using it, I mean, th those are the things that have stood out to me. The design, the f while the fit and finish isn't quite as as tight as I would like it to be, the, the edges are just all around a little a little sharp, a little un... You know, it's like they could have been polished a little bit more somehow. Uh, but... The secondary to screen, all the secondary screen that has been sort of the hallmark of the V series is still here, still doing its thing, and um, the sound quality is just amazing. This, as well as the this P OLED screen. Now, this to me, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna I'm gonna say something bold here, people. I'm gonna say something bold. Maybe I should have said it before. It's late in the video. Maybe I'll cut this into the video earlier. Um, this is what the iPhone 10 should look like. What do you think? Um, it, you know, of course, with its iPhone-ness intact still, this is, this is clearly an Android phone, but this is what they should have made the iPhone 10, is this phone right here. LG's made a really good phone. LG, it's the little things about LG that aren't, aren't always spot on. So I'm going to do a longer term usage of it to let you know over the course of a, a week or two how I feel about using it. I mean, I still love my Note 8 and it is the phone that I own and I'll likely be going back to. But the sound quality on this thing for me as a, as a musician and a lover of music sound quality is, is really, really, really good. And when you've got if you've got good headphones like I've got Sennheiser HG600s, if you have anything that's high impedance that needs more power, this is the only phone that will do justice to it. So at this point, I'm enjoying this phone. I'm liking it a lot. It's, it's thin. It's very light. It's very slippery. Perhaps I need a D-brand skin. <laughs> But it's it's a darn it's a darn good phone in so many ways, and it reminds it just makes me think like you know, headphone jack on top like this is an iPhone design, this is an iPhone design, you know they put the headphone jack on the bottom. Remember that anyway, it's just it feels like an iPhone to me, except for the fact that it's running Android. It's been a couple of days. The jury's still out for me. There are many things that I like about this phone. It's probably the best LG phone that I've used so far. Battery life, solid. I, it's 10.45 at night, and I've been up since 6 this morning, and I've got 48% battery left. Now, I 
haven't had time to use my phone very much today. It's been a very busy day. Uh, but I also haven't been using, I've got 68% on this, so I've been using this one more. There's a lot, there's a lot that's good about this phone, and I'm going to come back with a full review and let you know what I think. But for right now, my, you know, iPod. This is like the iPod of the, of 2017. You know, this is what Apple should be doing. This is what Apple should be doing. Tell me what you think down in the comments. Till the next time, I'm out.